Hi Libra, it's Ellie and welcome to your reading. So let's jump straight into it. Thank you so much, my spirits, angels, and guides. Please tell me what is coming towards my beautiful Librans regarding love this week. Please show me the cards that I need to see and please show me the messages clearly. All right. So just a reminder, this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Make sure that you watch your sun, moon, rising, and Venus to get a complete picture of what is coming towards you for the week ahead, all right? If this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other signs. It might resonate with you from there, from those readings, all right? All right. Okay, Libra, your overall energy for this week is the Queen of Pentacles. All right. We have the Empress. The Four of Swords. And then the Moon. Could be dealing with the Pisces, a Libra like you. They might have those placements, but not really necessary. Or you might have those placements. Could be dealing with the Pisces, you know. The Hanged Man. And then the Moon. Alright. Healing. Alright. Okay. Let's adjust this a little. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Libra, your your challenge for this week is the Eight of Swords, all right? This is a time for you to address the anxiety that is in your head, self-imposed restrictions, all the anxiety and the overthinking is really, really restricting you from moving forward. All right. Self-imposed restrictions. Only you can save yourself, Libra. Only you can save yourself. That is one of the things I tell myself when I, you know. Anyway, your overall energy is the Queen of Pentacles. You could be dealing with someone who is an Earth sign, strong Capricorn has strong Capricorn placements, um, but you can have those placements as well, as well, you know. You're very much focused on your money, your stability, all right? Your money, your stability. Mm. I'm hearing you're looking for someone who's mentally, emotionally, and financially stable as well as stable as you all right all right that's nice that's nice that's nice all right you're actually very focused on work right now you're very focused on work why you are healing i hear you healing all right you could be dealing with someone who is a libra or a pisces take it how it resonates all right they could have those placements you could have those placements as well um, hmm. This person from the past. Why is it that I'm feeling that this is you? More of you than the person. But I'm hearing that you are seeing that person's worth now. You're seeing this person's worth now. All right. Um... You left this person hanging for some reason. You left this person hanging. During the time apart, during the separation, you realized a lot of things that this person was the one for you. Uh, you had a lot of love for this person. You actually had feelings with this person. You know, you could actually flip the energies if it does not resonate, if it resonates for you that way, you know? But yeah. 
you are so attracted to this person. You are so attracted to this person, all right? This person was the queen of all queens for you. Or you were the queen of all queens for your for this past person, all right? Take it how it resonates. Also, male, female, not really gender specific. We are looking at the energies. You have the four of swords and then the three of cups. All right, Libra. What I'm saying what I'm seeing here is you are healing. You are healing, you are rejuvenating, you are really taking your time before you and really thinking. All right, you're protected at this time while you are in your healing mode, but you are going to take quick action right after you heal. Right after you come out of healing, you're going to take action, all right? There are two energies from the Three of Cups. Uh, well, first, you were in a third-party relationship for some reason. You were in a third-party relationship and... Yeah. You know, I usually say third-party energy, but very specific third-party relationship. That really came out. That really came out, okay? So if this reading does not resonate for you, it means it's not your reading, okay? You could check out your other signs, but right now, this is the energy that I'm picking up. Third-party relationship. I'm hearing you've lost a lot of support from your soul tribe because of whatever has happened, all right? I'm sorry, Libra. I usually say a lot of things, but that is kind of heavy. I don't know if it's heavy because of this reading or because I did Gemini and that was a heavy energy, but I actually, you know, cleansed the space before I started your reading. But yeah, you have the moon here and then the five of pentacles, all right? You fear. There are a lot of fears here. You fear being rejected. You fear being alone. You have, you know, old beliefs in your head, which is really making you stagnant. It's really clouding your judgment, whether or not how to move forward with your situation, all right? And it's this clouded judgment here is really still keeping you out in the cold. It's really isolating you all right hmm. Hmm. okay let's see the overall outcome what happens after the overall outcome of the spread okay Two of Wands could be at a distance, could be dealing with someone from a distance, all right? Could involve travel. Also, a big decision. There's a decision here that you have to make Libra. For some reason, I'm picking that up. You have the Eight of Swords again, anxiety, self-imposed restrictions, all right? And then you have the Three of Pentacles. Hmm. Huh. Uh, all right there's this big decision here it's making you super anxious why because if you choose to be with a person you know that you have to commit at a, a higher and deeper level with them this person you have walked away from I'm hearing because of the third party situation that you put them in. So you have a lot of anxiety whether or not this person would ever accept you. So you're kind of undecided whether or not to go forward, to make that decision of leaping forward because of that, all that anxiety.
All right. Hmm. I'm hearing if you have enough. Are you enough? Could you give this person the right, the kind of life that they deserve? Okay. What is the advice from spirit? The advice of spirit from spirit. okay and then okay so you have the four of pentacles the page of swords and then the tower all right clearly if you don't make a decision spirit will make a decision for you that is the tower here if you don't make that decision that you need to make here spirit will make that decision for you all right so before spirit does that you if you want to make that decision yourself, you have to have to gather a lot more information. Gather information, all right? And then the Four of Pentacles, I'm getting it. You are really working hard, clinging on to your money. You could have lost a lot of money for some reason. That is what I'm feeling, but right now whatever you have left you are really hanging on to it you are really clinging on to it okay that is so specific especially the last part that is so specific i'm sorry not everyone would resonate not it won't resonate with everyone i'm sorry about that You want me to take this? All right. You have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. <laughs> you saw me shuffle this, all right? And I was just told, I was just called to take that card that was sticking out. Okay? And then, Wisdom of the Oracle. This one? Okay. To the C, but it's in the reverse. All right. It's number seven. That is the, that easy. That is the chariot card. That is a chariot card. That is about movement forward. Moving on, moving to better. To the C. To the C. Since it's, the, it's in the reverse, we're going to read their protection message all right when external conditions appear to block every attempt to move forward there is no hidden message for you to decipher like the ocean the tides of experience ebb and flow the tides of experience ebb and flow you are in a natural cycle so know that things will flow again in due course there is no cause for alarm. Stop stop resisting and fighting against the situation and learn to flow, even when the tide is going out. Relax and trust in the abundance that will soon be within your reach again. That ancient, an ancient mariner saying applies to you now. When fishermen cannot go to sea, they stay at home and repair their nets. All right, that's actually really good. That's actually really good. I hope something in the reading resonated, Libra. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below how it resonated for you. I love you all. Thank you so much and stay blessed.